If you recently bought EXOS drives from Seagate, you may need to check this video because you may have purchased some old drives. I didn't pay much attention when these news just break out, but it looks like this scandal is getting bigger and bigger. So what happened here? Some people that purchased these drives, they run uh, checks using Smartmon tools and they realize that these drives have been used for a year or even longer. And what's crazy about it? If you use uh, regular smart checks inside your NAS or using Crystal Disk or something like that, it will come up as a new drive, no hours whatsoever. Only with the Smartmon tools you can actually see uh, the real hours that have been used uh, on these drives. So this is just a short video to warn people that were wondering why Exos drives are so cheap because this has actually been happening for a long time. When you think about it, people are often asking us like, why Exos drives are cheaper than the regular NAS drives? Because Exos drives are usually used in enterprises, in big storage. How comes they are cheaper? And this might be the answer. Seagate already put out official statements saying that they got nothing to do with this and they only sell drives uh, through them supported uh, retailers, which actually is what they, those customers did. They did buy from Amazon and other big shops like this and they got these second-hand drives. And it's not just one retailer, a lot of retailers actually selling these drives. So if you've got nothing better to do this weekend, you can go to Angry Apple channel. He put a video out there how to install this tool on a Mac. If you do command, after installing, you can do command DFH, which is gonna show you what's the use on the drive. And then if you use commands, a sudo smart ctl hdevsd, and your number for the drive. You'll run self-assessment test uh, and then you'll see whether you passed or failed. Uh, I've made a quick article how to do it on uh, Windows, on Linux and on a Mac. You can find that on this article. I'm gonna add it to the description. But otherwise, I just wanted to put this out there and let me know if you're affected uh, or not so we can find out how big this problem is. Is it just Germany or is it actually a global issue? Do let me know.